Okay, this is going to be a quick video. Yes, it is. I'm absolutely determined to make it quick. It's a video to tell you why you may have noticed one of my videos getting removed. It was the Outer Worlds video. It is now completely gone. And that is because I have deleted it myself. There was a copyright claim made on that video, and it was because of the small part of the Firefly trailer that I used, and it got claimed by, I can't remember who it was. Now, I did contest it because that clearly falls under for fair use. I did use a small portion of the trailer whilst talking about Firefly. I didn't have the audio on for most of it, so, you know, there's... there's there's no way that doesn't fall under fair use, so I did contest it, but they automatically rejected the claim, which means I have to elevate it to the next level. I honestly think this was just one of these automatic systems. I don't think there's anyone out there who's gone, no, we are definitely going to put a copyright claim on this video. Um, but I decided I'm just, I really am not going to push it with this one. It's, uh, it's just not worth it. That video is going to be irrelevant in a couple of weeks anyway, or a couple of months. So this isn't the same as say one of my long-term videos, the videos that still get views today. So I just ended up removing it. It's not the only video that's received this type of claim recently. There's been a few of them, including Call of the Cthulhu, the last episode. And that was claimed because of the music in the end scene. I have also been hit with a spate of my videos being classified as not suitable for advertising. I've contested all of them. Most of them have made it through the review process, but several of them haven't. I'm still actually waiting for a review of the Mod Organizer tutorial. Part 6, I think it was. It's, um, it's the one about... Uh, beyond Nexus, converting from Nexus Mod Manager to Mod Organizer. It's a one-hour tutorial video where I cannot, for the life of me, see why any anything on there would be non-advertiser friendly, beyond it being perhaps a little too boring. Maybe that's what it was. It's a one-hour one hour video of your desktop and and any files and tools. Oh my god, no advertiser's going to want to put anything on this. So I don't know. It's an odd one. And that one is still up for review and they don't seem to want to review it. They have these weird rules where you have to get a thousand views in a week to get a review. But they don't always stick to it because plenty of the other videos that I asked for a review probably got like five views in the last week and they reviewed them. A lot of them did get rejected though. So quite a lot of my Witcher Let's Play videos are no longer suitable for all advertisers. And I suspect that's because of the content. You know, there's a heavy witchcraft vibe and there's also quite a lot of nudity. Those actually got a manual review, as in someone watched them or at least watched bits of them and they were rejected. They're still not suitable for all advertisers. I'm, I'm guessing it's something to do with the nudity. Some of those episodes did contain quite a lot of nudity and, you know, a very sort of occult theme. So maybe they're just being unbelievably sensitive at this period. I know it's a very advertiser heavy period. I'm not angry at YouTube. I don't even blame them. They are between a rock and a hard place. They don't want to remove videos because every video they remove is a video they don't, or at least every video they set up as not suitable for advertisers is a video they don't earn money on. So it's not in their own interest to do that for fun. They're doing it because they know a lot of the advertisers are skittish about appearing on some channels. So they're just being overly careful and occasionally I think they go a bit too far, but that's probably better than not doing anything and all the advertisers pulling out and YouTube going under, I suppose. So I'm not mad at YouTube for this and I, I encourage you guys to not be mad at them. Just, just be understanding it's... It's the way it is. The copyright claim thing, I think those are just automated systems. I don't think there's any malice there. It's slightly annoying, but in the case of the Outer Worlds video, it's pretty much, it's one of those videos you release and then nobody watches in a couple of weeks anyway. It's not like my tutorials or even my Let's Plays where people will visit them years later. This was one of those one-off videos, so I'm, I'm not particularly worried about that. And the Call of the Cthulhu one will be up. It may even already be up. 
with no music, which was will make the end seem a little weird, but then it was Call of the Cthulhu, and everything about that was weird, so there you go. Anyway, I did say, short video, just over five minutes at the moment, I'm leaving before it hits the six minute mark. Thank you for listening, and uh, there you go. That's why the Outer Worlds video is no longer available.